Hey everybody, my name is Jason Murphy. I'm one of the head nerds here at Enable. Uh, we have an exciting release in 24.2. I'm going to take you through that release in terms of a demo. So I'm gonna walk you through that now, and here we go. All right, so let's dive right into this 24.2. Obviously, I'm going to start with one of the most requested feature requests probably in the last 10 years. Um, it's been always floating around the top five. Uh, but now that we've got, you know, REST APIs and a few other things like analytics, um, I will tell you that we now have a new feature called update asset info in bulk. So now you're able to command your endpoints to update its asset information across an entire customer. Now I would, as a caveat, I would start with a single customer, um, Obviously this is a brand new feature. And while we do load testing and what have you, um, I wouldn't want to see any mishaps. So test this uh, on a small customer and kind of grow from there. Um, but this is an amazing feature. So when you're installing software, when you need real time information, you're going to be able to command in central to be able to give you that very, very quickly. Okay. So again, bulk. Update asset info is now in N Central in 24.2. All right, so the next one I'm going to talk about is exciting for me only because huge fan of REST APIs. Um, I'm going to talk about there are 12 new uh, REST APIs that we have added uh, or REST API endpoints that we have added uh, to N Central. And I'm just going to go through some of them here. Uh, we have added some. Uh, what is called standard PSA credential validation. So we've added that one. We have added more and more to org units. So you're going to be able to see things like customers, sites, and obviously SO. And all of that is right here. So check those out. Um, I'm excited about this. You're going to be able to post and get user roles. All right. So that is an amazing feature for being, being able to create users, for example um access groups all right so there are now in here as well so now you have access groups and now we have things like job statuses and my favorite custom device properties and yeah, I mean, even though it says device custom properties they're custom device properties um and you're now going to be able to modify a custom property and also pull those custom properties okay and obviously more and more will uh, come out around custom properties, but obviously this is a really great start. I do urge you to check out the 24.2 release notes. Um, they have everything listed uh, in terms of uh, all the endpoints we have added in 24.2. Okay, I'm going to segue back to this and move down into uh, CVSS. So a um, small little change that we did. We go into patch management and we look at my patch you're going to see in the column under cvss that we have added some core uh, color uh, scheming di directly to the ui of n central so if and i'll just break this down of what it is here so if the as you can see this is an 8.8 for example that is in a what i would call an orange or an amber state that is what we call a high vulnerability Okay, so, and then you have 9 to 10, which I assume is going to be red. Um, and again, all we have color coded all of these states directly for you. So to better recognize which ones are obviously important. Okay, so little change there around CV CVSS. Okay, and the next one I'm going to focus on is in the all device view. And what we're going to do here is click into laptops dash Mac. All right. So we can now classify your Mac laptop as a Mac laptop and not a Mac workstation, which obviously is a more of a legacy. You know, that's where how they, they kind of all started was these bulky desktops and workstations once upon a time. So we now have this and we also have a category for workstations and laptops dash Mac. Okay. So that's a really exciting piece around uh, Mac. However, we have also added some awesomeness around Mac as well when it comes to scripting. So if you come into 
schedule task and script and software software repository what we can do is now filter on click on mm -hmm. mac scripting you will see that we have all of these additional mac scripts at your disposal okay uh, i haven't counted how many there are there are now but again i would urge you to check them out especially if you are supporting uh, macs in your customer environments okay one additional one moving right along is cove so we have added three new service templates for cove um, in and central for 24.2 obviously building out more and more value around um, cove and how amazing that product is okay so check those out if i just click into servers here you can see that i have cove app monitoring and the backup job status if i click into these and look at those thresholds you can see that we get backup status time since last successful backup in seconds all of those are all right here okay so just check that out okay now the next one is in terms of service templates nothing you can visually see but a recurring issue that seemed to be happening was whenever uh, partners were trying to apply uh, service templates effectively in bulk across many, many devices. We would get into sometimes system errors or you, know, you get this little particular error message in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Um, we have now uh, made some uh, massive uh, performance improvements around service templates in 24.2. So um, applying service templates will be much, much faster. Um, and it's doing so by leveraging cache data uh, to improve that uh, that speed, okay? Now, I do want to say that we have a number of bug fixes that we have included. Now, I'm actually going to pull this right up and put it on the screen here. So, I didn't count them, but I do want to let you know there is, I would say, 60 plus, or maybe 50, but there is a lot of bug fixes that we have done between 24.1 and 24.2. Um, so please look at what we have addressed. Um, one that really stood out to me, and if I can just do a quick control F was Azure. So, uh, cannot link imported Microsoft active directory users to Azure ED SSO provider. That was an annoying one that a lot of our partners were, uh, concerned about that has now been addressed in 24.2. So please check that one out. Um, and all of the other bug fixes that are in here. These are the top ones. So just kind of go through them and see what we have done for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the demo. Um, obviously we've got lots more coming on APIs. We have now added in a new code uh, monitoring. We have now added in a new device class for Mac dash laptops and much, much more. Oh wait, not to forget bulk asset uh, update info is now part of 24.2. Thanks, and I'll see you again.